goodness, with face, Pat, and Tiz. And speaking of just black people doing cool shit, uh, that brings me to a new segment that I'm going to try to do, uh, if not weekly, at least bi-weekly. And that's just five positive black news stories. Um, I feel like when you watch, you know, Fox News or, you know, some of the mainstream channels, you, you get a lot of just the negative shit. You know, you get a lot of the fuckery, as we call it. And we like to, you know, explore that, too, and kind of dig into those conversations as well. But I think it's important that we highlight the cool shit that black people are doing out there in the world. So here go five positive black news stories for your week to brighten up your day and hopefully just, you know, allow you to celebrate your melanin out there. So, first story, uh, is black women Olympians just kicking ass and shining um, as we're about to go into Tokyo? This, um, the Olympic trials are now pretty much wow. over as far as the televised uh, events are concerned. And uh, we got people like Simone Biles, Simone Manuel, Gabby Thomas, Sydney, Sydney McLaughlin, Delilah Muhammad, Shakari Richardson, and they're just leading this strong class of black Olympic athletes that's about to kick some ass and bring some gold home this summer in Tokyo. So just salute to the black excellence on display that's about to go represent this country and they people and just and shine, man. And like these people are already sitting at the Olympic trial. So it's only a matter of time before we see like these world records get even more outrageous as we go into the Olympics. So just shout out to them, man. Love to see uh, the black queens, uh, just, you know, taking take front, front street and center stage, you feel me? But yeah. Uh, what what did you, you was about to say something? Uh, well, I saw your face. I'm, just, so I was just making sure I'm gonna just say applause. round of applause to our black female Olympians, round of applause. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Salute. I know I get tired when I'm running, so. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. And, uh, My knees are bad. Laughlin and Delilah Muhammad, I believe they run the 400 hurdles. So they mm. running, like, basically <laughs> the entire track and jumping over the whole time. Like, fuck all yeah. that. Like, mm. I, I, I threw shot for the yeah. for a reason. I won't mess with none of that running shit. Like, if I'm running, I better be running from something towards something. So, you know. Catch me in football, basketball, baseball, oh, you know, tennis, those things. But that track, that take a different type of, like, dedication to just keep on doing the same exact thing over and over again and mm. in, increasing your, your growth by, like, hundreds of a second at a time. Like, shit is dedication. But, yeah. Um, yeah salute to I all th- of them. Go ahead. And I think uh, Shakara, um, I, I – put on a good and fuckery the last time as the good part pretty yes. much because she was yes. beasting yes. yo when i first saw her i didn't see the name or what i was like is meg the stallion running track because <laughs> she had the orange she had the orange head and i was like that little lady kidding? yo every every yeah. she remember then she started pointing y'all remember flow joe oh. back in the day oh yeah she I did had a super on long hair. so that's yeah, what she reminded me. she reminded me of like flow joe but with a weave like she just mm-hmm. Like the new I think she got logo, nails like, too. I, I, and it looked so cool when she running down the joint. It looked like my little pony or some shit. Like you just see rainbow colored hair just flying behind her as she <laughs> goes. And, and the way she be smoking people and looking back, like like she's like the female Usain Bolt, yo. Like she's amazing. Like that little lady and, to kick some ass, man. I, I, I like to see the young queen shining like that, man. She about to crush. And I think she really know like the science of running because when she first went. When on that race that she won, she wasn't the first person that you know jumped off. Like she no, just she don't, gradually. She don't, she don't have like fast starts. She kind of catch yeah. you like about at that sixty meter mark, and then by eighty meters she done smoked your boots and it's gone. But she it's not she not fast out the blocks. I noticed because the 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 one where she set the record like that you was talking about last week. And, mm-hmm. the, and the race I just saw her run uh, today, I think it was like from like a month or two ago. In both of those races, she crushed the people, but it's like she's she she takes her time with it and paces that first fifty meters or so out, and then when you gassed, she she just getting started. Acceleration, visual, yeah. 
would you say? Yeah. She got she more acceleration than the original push. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So like she wanted them, she gets started, but that momentum when it goes, she gone. Gone, gone. But yeah, salute to her. Uh same thing as Simone Manuel, uh, the way she be dominating and swimming, like that's how she look in the pool. Like it's just like, why, why are we so great? Like it's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah. And of course, you know, man. Simone Biles, the queen of gymnastics with about every mm-hmm. Every medal you can get win, man. She 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 about the greatest gym gymnast ever. So seven five seven Virginia represent. <laughs> you know already VA all day. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, um, the next yeah. thing of black excellence is Corey Bush and her bill. Um, a new bill is going to head to Congress that's going to create a federal agency that would limit people's encounters with law enforcement by funding community systems that's going to be led mm-hmm. by health officials to respond to mental health emergencies rather than police. So in situations where you got like, uh, where you've seen like the police kill uh, black people yeah. because they're, autistic. Like, they're not right in the head or whatever, instead of the autistic respond, dude, these mental health professionals will respond and who are actually trained to deal with those type of people and, you know, will help work with them so that, Instead of it being a violent encounter, it could be an encounter where you, you know, people actually end up getting the help they need. So uh, basically, Representative Corey Bush, you know, who worked more than 10 years as a mental health nurse in St. Louis, she the lead sponsor of the bill. And uh, this is basically in an effort to dis- to curb the disproportionate share of police violence against people with mental Ill- illnesses and health complications. So salute to Representative Corey Bush. Way to work out, Queen. These queens is kicking ass, man. I, I don't mean no harm, black man. We gotta, we gotta step out into the forefront, man. These ladies doing some doing some heavy duty shit in uh, in our name, but uh, so yeah. The next joint, uh, out in Los Angeles, man. They got this summer camp that's run by black folk and basically serves a uh, uh, a heavily black and Latino and Latinx population. Um, basically kids from five to 17 are able to go to crypto camp and this teaches financial literacy to kids. Um, they basically, they enjoy a a petting zoo. They play, they, you know, do the normal shit, drink juice boxes, play games, um, and all that. But they also learn about Bitcoin. They learn how to mine Bitcoin. Um, and basically it's teaching them about digital currencies so that by the time that this shit is like even bigger than what it is now with Dogecoin and all of that, like, these kids gonna have a one up because not only will they understand what it is and the mechanics behind it, but they'll also understand how to farm it, which is really where the money is at if you know about Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. So like, I think that was just really dope that we get our think, kids into financial literacy. And we've talked about that before on the pod. So yeah. I I think I want to go to the adult camp or whatever. Cause I like, I want to know about Bitcoin mining myself just for, you know, for the obvious reasons. Plus, I like juice boxes, and y'all, y'all already know how I am about animals. At the pet, you know, you know how I am about animals. The animals love me. Man, <laughs> you said what? Because I like juice boxes, and you know I like animals. <laughs> man, they got a petting zoo with the shoot. Uh, no, don't that's, me, I thought that was real dope, man. Like getting mm-hmm. the kids into like the next wave of where finance is going at an early age and teaching them the mechanisms on how to actually generate the money as well oh, as, you know, participate in the spending and the usage of it. So salute to them. Crypto camp out in LA, man, doing big things. Um, the next piece of Silicon Valley. Black Excellence News. The first Black orchestra to play at Carnegie Hall I saw the that. Gateways saw Musical that. Festival Orchestra is making history as the first all-Black classical symphony orchestra to do <clears throat> feature performances at Carnegie Hall. It's the first time ever in the prestigious venue's 130-year career or history. The concert at Carnegie <clears throat> Hall will be held on April 24, 2022 and will serve as the conclusion of a six-day festival in different venues in Rochester and New York City. So salute to the Gateways Music Festival Orchestra 
for making history and being the first black orchestra at Carnegie Hall doing feature performance. That's pretty Hopefully cool. it ain't another 130 years for the next one, bro. Amen to that face, Mavi. Amen mm-hmm. to that, sir. Yes. Because that is a long time. Like, you would have thought by now, somebody. I feel like, didn't uh, Marion <laughs> Anderson sing there before? So you would have thought that, like, somebody, like, an orchestra or something would have played there by now, but there you go. Yes. Eight ways Sounds about white. Or- or- I mean, right. History. Well, Carnegie, we in there now. And, you know, once we come in, we 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 kind of get comfortable and stay oh, they, around for a while. So They expect- did look comfortable. Like, I saw some of those videos, <laughs> and they look real comfortable, like, playing. They look, ha- they look like they were just having fun. They didn't – you know how I you see it. most orchestras? They look real serious and stuff like that. They – they were having a good old time hey, <laughs> jamming with the violin. Hey. They're going to be like the uh, Kanye Sunday service choir version of orchestras. They're going to come in with a little swag, a little flavor. I like it. I like Ain't it. Wrong with it. I can dig it. Um, so, yeah. Bring the car. What'd you say? I was thinking. To bring of, the culture everywhere. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, I was wondering how many is there other black all black orchestras? Because if that's the case, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna have to look. That up. That's <laughs> I'm a good question. Look up. I'm, I'm not then, sure. Then I he give Carnegie Hall the leeway. It's a little bit if it's if this is the first time we came to the uh, together as an orchestra. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, right. Or whatever, maybe or whatever. But hmm. well. That's the fourth day. And now on to the fifth and last uh, piece of black news that's positive to tear you through your week and just kind of, you know, remind you of the power of the melody. Um, black quadruplets graduated from Yale University. Aaron, Nick, Zach, and Nigel Wade, the 22-year-old quadruplet, quadruplets from Liberty Township, Ohio, who simult- have simultaneous... Ooh, my tongue is... Uh, Saying fuck all words. All right, um, we're gonna try that again. So, um, all right, take two. You know how I am. (laughs) So, um, no edit shit. The 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 four brothers have simultaneously graduated from Yale University together. The four brothers, who collectively known as the Quads, have always been together since they were born just minutes apart. After high school, they were accepted into 59 universities, including Yale, Harvard, Stanford, and Duke. And all of them opted to go to Yale where they were awarded financial aids. And now they have officially graduated. So salute to these four young brothers. Um, An example of, you know, a lot of times we see examples of black young people kind of doing the wrong thing, but this is definitely an example of the other side of that, you know what I mean? Because it's not all bad out here. A lot of it is actually really good like this. So those are the five black news stories to carry you through your week. Bless up. Mega melanin. Melanated peoples are amazing. I like that. Man. That's a good second, man. We should keep that going, man. A, we should continue to try to highlight you, positive that's black the, stuff. Yeah, that's my goal, man. I'm going to try to do that every week now, yo. I, I think that was just a... I don't know. It made me feel good when I was coming up with it and, and like looking up the topic. So, yeah, I, would, no. I try to sprinkle some. Yeah, you yeah. Know. You know, that's the good and the good of fuckery. But you know, I figured mm. I just add a little more good to the show with it. Good. Double up. Nah, Double up. You covered it once. I ain't get. You feel me? 